Hey y'all, it's Catherine Doss with Cats Keto Crew and the Crazy Keto Cat. And if you didn't know, I am Italian. And so, like, pasta just screams to me, like, I need pasta. But on the keto diet, that becomes an interesting situation because pasta is so high in carbohydrates. Like, what, what do you do? Okay, so there's a couple of different options. I've got some milk going over here. <laughs> you look at it in a second. So... What are some options for pasta? So there is this. This is called Impossible. It is by Thin Slim Foods. Normal pasta is going to probably have about 28 net carbs per serving. This will have 8 per serving, which is pretty good. Um, you can add this into a big, huge casserole, and so you're not eating like a full serving. Like you'd be eating a portion of that. I'm back. You could also make zoodles, of course. Like spiralized zucchini is delicious. I love it roasted. It sometimes gives it a little bit different of a flavor to it. Tonight, I am giving this a go. So this is palmini, okay? And so they are parts of palm linguine. So what does this look like? That looks like that. Okay, so when open the can I tried one plain just like totally by itself <clears throat> and it does it has been sitting in some sort of like I don't know if you call it a pickling liquid but it says you can rinse them off really well or you can soak them in milk well I only use milk so I soak them in a little almond milk for a little bit but what I'm gonna make tonight is basically fed chini alfredo with chicken so what I've got let's see if I can get you over here without dropping you is let me tilt you a little bit there we go okay so this is just five tablespoons of whipping cream like straight out whipping cream y'all okay and so i'm bringing it to a boil Do -do -do. it was just boiling a second ago but we'll bring it back to a boil whipping cream will boil pretty quickly so what I'm going to add to this is one ounce of shredded Italian cheeses, okay? So I'm basically making an Alfredo sauce in there. So I'm going to let that go in there. I'm going to let it all kind of melt in there and make an ooey gooey goodness. Now here's my little trick to making... Alfredo sauces. So most of the time Alfredo sauces are going to have some sort of roux, like a butter flour mixture to get them started. Well, we all know that flour is not our friend. But this is, this is xanthan gum and basically it's a thickener and a little, like I'm talking like a quarter of a teaspoon goes a really, really long way. Okay, so you can just add that in there and stir it around and let it get all absorbed in there. Now you could add some pepper and salt to this as well, or if you wanted a little nutmeg sometimes in our Alfredo, that's kind of tasty too. So now you see I have this big pot of Alfredo. But this is just for me, so we're working on just mine. <laughs> so here's my hearts of palm, again, Lungini. I am I'm gonna leave that right there. I have an induction stove, so I'm not burning the bowl, y'all. I promise. Okay, so this is three ounces of refrigerated chicken that you can get in like your deli section. You could totally be more of a pro than me and like make your own chicken. Like that would probably be a better call. But sometimes in the summer, we just roll with what we got. So. I'm going to take my Alfredo sauce and I'm using a spatula so I get every last bit because, you know, well, that's just what I do. And I'm going to put it over my hearts of palm with my chicken. Okay. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to give it a good stir around, right? And, y'all, we got fettuccine alfredo with chicken, okay? So, 
like how easy was that? Like you just were here with me for the entire process of making that. And now I've got a delicious bowl of fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Okay. So easy peasy, dinner on the go. So easy. Add some salt, add some pepper. And really, it's really good. I'm going to go eat this whole bowl. So I hope this satisfies your pasta craving. And let me know what you use as a pasta substitute. I would love to hear it. So, thanks.